Well, it was pretty this morning, and then it got cloudy, and it's pretty cool, but that's all going to change. Aren't we happy about that, Mike? Yeah, I tell you what, it was the up and down, and today was the down. Tomorrow and into Tuesday, we go way up much above average temperatures to start the work week. Right now, we are seeing chilly conditions and a lot of cloud cover. The College of the Page Weather Bug Camera and Glen Ellen showing you all that cloud cover. We are seeing clouds as well here at the Roosevelt Middle Schools, our Weather Bug Camera in River Forest. If you look at the left side of your screen, though, there are a few soccer players out there despite the chill. Got some kids uh, trying to enjoy the day away from school. Field Museum Weather Bug Camera looking at downtown Chicago. A hint of sunshine. Plenty of cloud cover to be found there as well. We only got to 47 so far today for a high. 40 low this morning in between the averages of 63 and 42. Your record stand at 87 and 27. It's 42 and partly sunny skies being reported at O'Hare this hour. The northeast wind at 13. That makes it feel like 35 degrees. Check out these temperatures and really look at the contouring, the coloring here of the coolest air pushing out away from the lake. It's 45 in Kankakee and Rensselaer, 46 in Juliet, but it's 52 in Morris, 58 in Peru, only 39 at Chicago's lakefront, 40 from Joaquin into Lansing, 42 at Midway, and it feels like just 31 at Chicago's lakefront, 33 your wind chill in Waukegan, feels like 36 at Midway. Check out why. Here we are with the winds coming down the lake. It pushes that colder air in here and keeps us with the chill. Now, as for any wet weather, it is fading away as the tries move into the region. Maybe some of it reached the ground in southwestern Sau County, but that round up there by Rockford is starting to fizzle out a bit as well. And well, it looks like maybe a few sprinkles tonight with another little ripple in the atmosphere. But the bigger story as we get into tomorrow is going to be changes in terms of a warm front. Yeah, it's a little ways away right now. In fact, you can find if you go from maybe Rapid City to about Kansas City into Southern Illinois, that is going to lift to the northeast as it does so. We are going to bring a whole lot, more, a lot warmer air in here and you are going to like it a great deal. You can even open up those windows. So let's check out that future outlook for the rest of this evening. Not plenty of cloud cover and again, maybe some sprinkles, even a stray shower. Can't be ruled out tonight, but it's not going to add up to anything. Tomorrow morning, we're already starting to see an easterly or southeasterly wind as we start the day, and that wind will start to pick up more as we get into the afternoon with partly sunny skies. Look how quickly those arrows are moving on your screen. South-southeast winds gusting at maybe 35, possibly 40 miles per hour. South-southwesterly winds here on Tuesday going to be gusty as well, but they'll be strong enough to push the warmth all the way to the lakefront. A little bit story here, a little bit different story here tomorrow in terms of that wind off the south southeast. Lakeside locations be slightly cooler. So how strong could the winds be? Well, let's check out one of our forecast models. It says we get to tomorrow morning, we may already be looking at gusts of maybe 20 to as strong as 30 miles per hour out to the west. And in the afternoon hours, yeah, 35 mile per hour wind gust. How about Peru? Could be flirting with a 37 mile per hour wind gust there. So keep that in mind. You may be out there enjoying the warmer weather, but you have to hold on to the hat. Mostly cloudy here tonight. Again, can't rule out some passing sprinkles, maybe even a stray shower. Temperature's going to drop into the upper 30s, but then I think they'll hold steady for much of the overnight. In fact, they could climb a little bit toward daybreak tomorrow. We'll be partly sunny for our Monday. Highs reaching the mid-70s inland. Could be even warmer in some of our southern sections, but it looks like our lakeside locations will probably stay in the upper 60s because of that south-southeast wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Then it's the south-southwest wind and partly cloudy skies on Tuesday, combining to push highs into the lower 80s. Chance for a few thunderstorms sneak in here during the evening hours. Late evening, a better chance for scattered showers and storms on Wednesday with a high near 70. We cool things off some hit and miss shower potential, especially in our southern sections on Thursday with a high of just 60, but then back into the mid 60s on Friday. And we head into the first weekend of May with a warm up. Highs in the upper 60s on Saturday, though it will be cooler at the lake. And then Sunday, Highs may reach the lower 70s, it looks like. So, yes, we had that cool down here today. Yes, we will cool things off a little bit on Thursday. But overall, Jackie and Taman, a warmer than average seven-day outlook. Maybe we are actually starting to get into spring after all. And we are excited about it. Thank you, Mike.